Welcome to another video. Recently, Mitral's Nemo was launched, and if you've seen my video on it, you'll know that it's the new best model in its parameter size. It's great at coding, reasoning, and almost everything. You can look at these tests that I did, and it was really good, except for the snake game. But overall, it's showing some great results. That's why I asked if you guys wanted a co-pilot with it, and many of you said yes. But I wasn't able to make that video, because Olama didn't support it. Apparently, the new model was using a pre-tokenizer, which made the model unusable with Olama, and it took some time for the Olama team to fix it. But now that issue is fixed, and the Nemo model is now available on Olama. So, now we can use it to locally host and create a co-pilot with it, just like we do with all the models. I think this will be the best option right now for people who want to run their co-pilot locally, as this is only a 12B parameter model and is really good at coding. I'll be telling you how to create a shell co-pilot with it using Shell GPT, just like the GitHub shell suggestion features. For the VS Code extension, I'll be using 20 this time, since I have used continue dev a bunch of times. So, I thought I'd spice things up a little, and since 20 is optimized just for local models, it'll be much better for local models. So, this will be a fully local copilot with all the features that GitHub Copilot has. And it's going to be much better than GitHub's Copilot because it's going to be fully free and local. And it's also going to be much better in quality than the GitHub Copilot's GPT-3 based model. So, now let's get started. But before we do that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, On Demand. Creating AI products can be hard, but with On Demand, it doesn't have to be. On Demand accelerates AI development with advanced RAG systems, slashing your development time. With On Demand, you can access a wide range of models from OpenAI, Gemini, and more. You can integrate these with multiple plugins from the marketplace, giving your LLMs real-time access to various services and knowledge bases. You can customize them even further by creating your own plugins from your knowledge base or API, tailoring the LLMs to your specific needs. You can also share your plugins on the marketplace for rewards. From aviation and event experts to real estate and home automation, On Demand lets you create AI agents for every need. Visit ondemand.io and get started now for free. Now let's get back to the video. First, we'll need to get Olama installed. To do that, go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, Go to the Models page and select the Mistral Nemo model. Now, copy the installation command and paste it in your terminal. Once you do that, the Nemo model will get installed. Once done, send a message and check if it works. Now, let's get Shell GPT installed. To do that, just run the pip install Shell GPT command, which will install Shell GPT on your computer. Once done, run the SGPT command. This will ask you for an API key. Just enter anything here. Once you do that, you'll see this error. Don't worry, it's fine. Now, just run this pip install light LLM command. This is needed to make Shell GPT work with Olama. Anyway, once done, open this Shell GPT config file. Now, over here, change the light LLM option to true and change the model name to Olama slash Mistral Nemo like this. Once done, save it. Now, you can use Shell GPT with the SGPT command. If you want just text output, then you can use it without any operator and get the results. Or you can use the Shell operator if you want to get Shell command suggestions. You can look at my full video about it for more information. Anyway, now we'll need to get the VS Code extension installed. To do that, Open up VS Code and go to the Extensions tab. Now, 
search for Twinny and get it installed. Once it has been installed, you'll see it on your sidebar. Just click it. Now, you'll see this screen. To configure it with Nemo, just click on the provider icon at the top. Now, just click the Reset Provider option. Now, select the Nemo option in both the drop-downs. Once you do that, click the Back button. Now, you can start using both the Chat and the Autocomplete with the Nemo model. Make sure that you have selected the correct model provider from the robot icon over here. Anyway, you can send in your messages and chat. You can also generate code within the chat interface and accept the solution, as well as copy or append the code to a new file, which is also really cool. It's pretty similar to Continue Dev. You can also generate commit messages with it for your stage changes, which is also quite cool. You can also create your own system prompts via the templates option, which is also good. Anyway, the autocomplete should also start working with the Nemo model now. It works pretty well. Although, I'll recommend using a smaller model for autocomplete. This way, your computer will not need to always run a bigger model for every line. For that, Twinny also recommends a bunch of models. But I like the stable code model because it has the best fill-in-the-middle capabilities that work well with Twinny. So, to use it, we'll need to get the model installed on Olima first. So, just go to Olima's model page and search for the stable code model. Now, copy the installation command and paste it in your terminal. This should get the model installed on your computer. Send a message and check if it works. Once it has been installed, go to Twinny, click on the provider option, and change the FIM model to stable code. Once done, the autocomplete in your files should start working with the stable code model. Plus, because it's small, it should be super fast, unlike GitHub Copilot, and it can run on almost any computer. Since the stable code model only has 3 billion parameters, you can also use the stable code model in chat if you are bound by resources, since that works really good as well. Anyway, this is a really cool copilot. It's super easy to set up, and you can get started with it quite easily. Plus, the Nemo model is really good at coding, and it's small as well, which means you can run it locally if you have the resources. I don't think there's any reason for anyone to pay $10 for the GitHub Copilot where you get the Codex model for autocomplete that's based on the GPT-3 model. Instead, it's better that you use a local Copilot with stable code or something because it's almost the same as that model. Or if you don't want to do anything local and want to use a paid method instead, you can also use the new GPT-4 Omini model as a Copilot. I have recently done a video on that. It's pretty cool and cheaper than GitHub Copilot as well. Overall, this local Copilot is pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.